everyone, it's Sandy and today I'm doing my September book haul. For this book haul, I think I got around 12 books. So yeah, let's just get started with the first one because I don't want to make this video so long. The first book that I got is Catchy Falling Star by Kim Culbertson. I actually won a giveaway from Scholastic and they sent me this book. They actually sent me two copies. So one I'm going to save for a future giveaway. Honestly, I don't know much about it. I do know it has to do with some Hollywood star coming into town. And yeah, that's basically all I know. But the cover is just really pretty. And I hope I really enjoy this book. Next, I got All the Truth That's In Me by Julie Berry. This is the Bookbuster September book of the month. Our live show was last Saturday, so I will leave a link to the live show if you read this book and want to watch it. This book is about a girl named Judith who disappears four years ago with her best friend. And two years later, she returns but without her best friend. And she returns in a circumstance that doesn't allow her to speak, which you'll learn more about in the book. This is the paperback version, and the paperback version received a cover change. And I personally really like the hardback cover of this book more because it's more like symbolic to the book. Even though it does have a picture of a girl on it, I just really like it more just because it has more meaning to the book. The next four books that I got is part of the series, and that is the second, third, fourth, and fifth book in the Covenant series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. The second book is Peer. The third book is Deity. The fourth book is Apollyon. And the fifth and final book is Sentinel. If you've watched my August wrap-up, I raved about this series towards the end of it. This is the perfect series to binge read. It's similar to Vampire Academy, so if you like Vampire Academy, I highly recommend this series because it has amazing action and an amazing steamy romance. I don't want to go into much details about what this series is about because I think it'd be really good to just go into the series blind not knowing what it's about and I just love this series. It's so good. The next book I got is a book that I actually got at a book signing and that is Air of Fire by Sarah J. Mass. This is a really big book. This is the third book to the Throne of Glass series, and I love the Throne of Glass series. I already finished this book. I'm not going to talk much about it because I'm going to wait till my wrap-up to discuss it. Sarah J. Mass was just a really nice author. I love listening to her talk. She was hilarious, and I love how she signs her books. She personalizes every single one of them, so I'm going to show you like what she wrote in each of my Throne of Glass books. For Air of Fire, she wrote... Team Rowan for the win. Rowan is a new character that is introduced in Air of Fire and I really love his character so that's what she wrote. Even though I really like Rowan, I am still 100% Team Kale. For the Assassin's Blade, she wrote, Thanks so much for reading. I also purchased the hardcover Throne of Glass book with the new beautiful purple cover at the signing and she wrote, Rattle the Stars. I really love this personalization. I'm so glad that I have the new hardcover edition of Throne of Glass because I had a really hard time finding it in like Barnes & Noble. The day before the book signing, I called the store and asked if they had these covers and they said that they had two left and I quickly like reserved this book just so I can get it signed and so it can match the rest of the books. And now that I have the matching cover, it looks so beautiful side by side with the rest of their books. And for Crown of Midnight, she wrote... Thanks for coming. The Sarah J. Mass book signing wasn't just her. It was her, Susan Dennard, and Erica R something. I don't know the author's last name. But I also purchased a Susan Dennard book at the event, and it is Something Strange and Deadly. I think this is a historical fiction, and I think it has to do with zombies. I'm not so sure. But during the Q&A session, Susan Dennard mentioned the word zombies in her books, so that's what I think it's about. So this is what she wrote. She wrote, Aim for the Stars, and P.S. Thanks for coming to the event. Okay, I'm just... I'm just looking at the cover and I see that Marie Lou blurbed this and she said, Thrilling, charming, and dark. If you enjoyed Clockwork Angel, you'll love this. And Marie Lou is the author of the Legend Trilogy, which is awesome because the Legend Trilogy is one of my favorites. So that very same day of the Sarah J. Mass book signing, I went to a Colleen Hoover book signing. It was a total last minute decision. The Colleen Hoover signing was at 7 p.m. while the Sarah J. Mass signing was at 2 p.m. So I wasn't sure if my dad was willing to take me there. And to get a ticket into the signing, I purchased Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. The Colleen Hoover signing was called like the Fall in Love Tour. She was joined by Abby Glines and Jamie McGuire, who is the author of like Beautiful Disaster. I'm not sure what books Abby Glines has wrote, but I mainly came there for Colleen Hoover, to be honest. I also got the rest of my book signed, which is amazing. And if you want to see her signature, this is it.
I did not like the way the signing is organized because there's there wasn't that many people, but there was still a lot of people. It was just person after person. When it was my turn, I walked up to like the table that they were signing at. I put my books down and I quickly asked for a picture and they took my picture and by the time my picture was done being taken, my books were already signed and they were moving on to the next person. So I didn't have a chance to say anything to Colleen Hoover, which made me really upset. But I'm still glad that I came to the event because I love Colleen Hoover. This book is about a girl named Tate who moves in with her brother and her neighbor that's like across from her is named Miles. They kind of come up with this like sexual arrangement so basically they're, they just meet each other for sex. I finished Ugly Love a couple weeks ago and I really really enjoyed it. I'll talk about it more in my wrap up. The next book I bought is Let's Get Lost by LD Al Saeed. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. I know this is a road trip book and after reading Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Matson last month, I was really really into like the road trip aspect and I really wanted to check this book out because I've been seeing it a lot on booktube. I'm also going to be meeting the author at this big book event along with a bunch of other authors which is pretty awesome so I decided I should just buy the book to get it signed. Unfortunately, I didn't have the time to read this book before the event which made me sad. The event is actually taking place tomorrow so... It's pretty exciting because some of the authors there includes Morgan Matson, Cassandra Clare, Holly Black, Jenny Han, which is awesome. And I'm going to have a lot of books to carry to that event. The next book I got is The Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey. This is the second book in The Fifth Wave. When I first received this book in the mail, I was surprised to see how thin it was. It's very thin compared to The Fifth Wave. I think it's around 300 pages. I didn't love The Fifth Wave, but I still really enjoyed it. And honestly, I can't remember anything from The Fifth Wave. So I'm probably going to reread The Fifth Wave before I read this. And the last book that I got is... The Young Elites by Marie Lu. This is the first book in her new fantasy series and I am really excited to read this. This is actually the Bookbusters October Book of the Month which is sponsored by Penguin which is awesome because I got my hands on this early. The release date for The Young Elites is October 7 or 8 I believe and so get your hands on that book and join the Bookbusters read along. I'll leave more details about the read-along in the description below and to the Bookbusters Goodreads group. I hope you guys join because I think this will be a really exciting book to read. This was also one of my most anticipated book of the fall. That's all for my September book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye!